Hi, and welcome to the first review by Brick Maniac. Um, and uh, I'm going to be reviewing the Lego Pet Shop today. It is for ages 16 and plus. Though I am um, and I built it in four days. Uh, it has 2,032 pieces, and it's just and it's 11 inches tall, and both of the pavements joined together for both the buildings are 10 inches uh, long. And I was looking at reviews, reviews of this fridge, and now I'm doing my own reviews. So here's the actual pet shop. Right, this set. It's probably the best Lego, Lego set ever. Okay, let's start. You get loads of spoon bricks on the pavement and drains. And you get the first one you think is a little girl. She has a green bike. I love green. I love the Lego bikes. They're so cool. And green is my favourite colour. Well, you know, aqua is and gold. Anyway, um... It has this lovely pavement and it has this these kind of railings that go up because this house is raised and it's got a sail say um cellar what do you call it cellar underneath it. It also has lots of other bits from different sets like these skis from the cafe corner and uh it's kind of domes from the Prince of Persia. And uh it has this mailbox, you open it and you get a lovely piece of mail. I have mail. Oh. Anyway, let's see. So you get a doorbell there. Now, I'm just going to take these floors off and um, look in the first floor. Now, it's very easy to take all the floors off because on, on the top of every floor, you kind of have these flat pieces and a few studs, so it's easy to take off and connect. So, you get a hat hanger, which is here. You get, oh, the hat fell off. You get some flowers, which are here. Uh, and you can see them out the window. Uh, you get a sofa. You get a, and you get a telephone here. I'm not sure you can see it. And you get, um... You get a mini toilet under the stairs here. So you just turn that round and open the mini toilet so the so the Lego mini figs can go pee and then they have some uh blue and yellow tiles which are which are kind of like uh four times smaller than the what than the ones that you get in the actual pet shop floor itself. And, and they're the same colour in the pet shop itself. Okay, and you get a little bit of a spiral staircase here. And you get a lot of detail I love about that set. Okay, let's move on to the second floor. Now, the second floor doesn't have much on it, but it's very interesting because you get uh, this man is, is kind of... Um, he, he kind of pulls the bucket of paint into here, then rolls his thing here into here, and then paints the wall, but he's got a long way to go. And also, you get this kind of opening window that opens like that. Just to show you back here. There we go. Uh, and this brings us to our second minifig. He's basically a guy in overalls with a mini roller. And he has a classic smiley face. You get this classic smiley face in all of these kind of buildings and all the mini figures. Just put that there for now. Uh, okay, and there's another spiral staircase. And this time a bit more spiral from the first floor. Now we're on to the... Oopsie daisy. Just dropped a piece, apparently. It was the chimney. Uh, Right, anyway, uh, let's move on to the third floor. Now, on the third floor, um, you get this kind of... It's very good because this, this, this floor is actually a bit, you know, bigger than all the other floors. And you get this balcony over here 
which you can fit a Lego minifigure on. And that brings us to our third minifig, which is a woman. Probably the owner of the house that she's moving into. Uh, red and gold, I like that mix. Uh, then you will take the roof off. And you get a... Uh, oh, just to tell you, you get shade here. You, and these doors open in. These terrace doors open in. Uh, anyway, you get uh, two boxes inside here. You get a stained glass window here, which I really think is really cool. And then out here, you get a mini terrace garden, which you can put a minifigure on. And, okay, that's that one. And then the roof has just kind of got a chimney and some railings. Uh, and now we're going to see the back. And we're going to see round the back of the uh, apartments. Right. So you get this kind of shade here, and you get these two doors here, which I didn't show you on the first floor, I forgot to show you. You get these two doors, and on the first floor, you get this little coffee mug, and then you open up this thing here, and it leads to the cellar. So I'll stick my finger in these doors around the back, and I'm inside here, and that's pretty cool. Okay, now... We're now up um, at the back here, you get also a bin with a red piece in and some steps. So not all that exciting around the back and, you know, oh, I put that around the wrong way. But you get some flowers and I think what really makes the back exciting is this bit. Anyway, on to the pet shop itself. Now, in the pet shop it's very exciting, so... First of all, you get a dog, and you lift up these stairs to get to to access the play mode. The dog has a bone in his kind of enclosure. Here, there he is. Woof. Mm. Um. You get a cat. Meow. It's going to kill you. Kill a cat. Yeah. Uh. Then you get these two parrots uh, uh, then you get a goldfish oh my god the back's come off which means he's suffocating <laughs> then you get a uh, uh, which bring and you get some you get a cash register here, and it has a $100 note in, in the drawer, and you get these kind of toys like Birdhouse and Chewy Frog, which bring us to our last minifigure. It's the pet shop owner in a sweater. Not very exciting, really. Uh, and when I pop these parrots back up the right way, then we can move on to the kitchen. And, and just to tell you, these stairs and the stone frog lead up to um, the kind of kitchen of the house, which I'll show you in about a few seconds. And you get a ball and two bones for display and this thing here. And I think these are shutters for when the shop closes. You pull these down and then they go over the doors. And the, this pet shot sign took me about 15 minutes to do. OK, let's go on to the Let's go on to the second floor of the Lego Pet Shop uh, building at itself. So, on the second floor, you get extremely, you know, you get a ma extremely detailed thing here. Uh, very good detail. I like the sandy blue colour. These are kind of Georgian houses, Georgian style. I really like that fact. And anyway, inside, I love the detail inside because you get a mini coffee maker, a mini sink, a mini uh, kind of stove with a frying pan on it, and you get a fireplace. And um, as a, on the other building on the roof, you don't actually see any uh, fireplace or chimney connections in this building, but in here, you do actually have a fireplace. And you get these chair it looks like it's spinning but it's only holding in place with one peg and a table with a cup of coffee and also you get this magnificent clock 
nice Lego clock. Okay. Now we're on to the uh, this floor here. Now this floor is. I like this because it's pretty cosy because I think this is the most detailed bit of the entire pet shop because it's so detailed this bit. And then inside, in, inside this floor, it's kind of half a floor and then you, you can see the kitchen there and then you get this really nice star bed and this lovely green lamp and these are, more, these are kind of like barricades to stop the guy falling down. As demonstrated, carelessly by this woman oh! okay well, that was pretty good now the roof now this is so cool oh, oh i was just going to show you see the fireplace down there it's kind of connecting the pipes going up here and now on the roof you actually do have a chimney and i really like about this roof is it's got this bit and also i love it because it's got this skylight because when the guy wakes up you can just look out the skylight and look at that there and go, oh, that's nice. And they're going to, oh my God, I'm getting blinded by the sun. Yeah! And that's pretty good. Um, and at the back, uh, you basically get um, this crate for when these guys buy a pet and they take them home. You get a rat sticking its tail in the cat's pen, which I'll just show you. There's a bit of a bad thing isn't it if the cat if, if i don't know if you can see there but there's kind of like um a a in the cat's pen here you get the cat and there's the rat sticking its tail out there and also at the back there's kind of like a a a kind of a bucket and a and a and a brush which you just put a pet inside, the cat's the best size, but you know, in fact, no, he's not all that big, good, but anyway, I just put the cat inside it, and he's getting washed, you know what, cats hate water, oh my god, that freeze, oh! and then you just, and I'll just put that back there, uh, it's quite hard. And put the brush back in there and put the cat back in its pen. And okay, that's then you also get these kind of windows that open like there. There's the mini fig I dropped earlier in the window. Help me! Uh, you can open these two windows like I demonstrated on this window. They're uh, pretty nice. And on the back, it's about as detailed as you get on normal Lego city sets. I hope you like my review. Please subscribe and tell me how I can get better at doing reviews. Bye!